Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I make a lot of videos all about hygiene, fragrance, self-care, things all of that kind of sort. However, today we are going to be doing my fragrance mist I'm going to be wearing for the springtime or spring fragrance mist favorites, I guess. I wanted to do this because here in California, the weather is slowly starting to get really, really warm. I mean, for those of you guys who probably live in a really cold climate, it's probably already springtime here. So that is what this video is today. If you guys want to keep seeing which fragrance mist I'm going to be wearing this spring, then keep on watching. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. First fragrance mist is Midsummer Dream. I mean, doesn't this just look like spring break to you? I feel like this epitomizes spring break vibes, like this ombre packaging. I believe Bath & Body Works came out with this last spring, I believe, spring or summer. Actually, it says midsummer, so probably around summertime they brought this back out. I know it wasn't like a huge hit for everyone. Some people really didn't like it because of the pear note. However, I thought it smelled really, really good. This has salted pear, fresh nectarine, and seaside lily. All three of those fragrance notes I absolutely adore. I love pear, I love nectarine scents, and I love lily notes in anything. This smells you can really, really, really smell the pear note in here. So if you guys don't like pear, I can see why you don't like this fragrance mist. But it's just a very refreshing pear crisp sort of scent. This is something I can see you guys wearing at like a bonfire at the beach, you know, the sun is setting. Or even like when the, you're watching like the sun rise at the beach. Definitely something I can see all of you guys wearing. It just smells so 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 summery and springtime I think the lilies bring in that floral note that like spring kind of brings so yeah this is the first one I also love that like the sprayer is like more of like this coppery color I think it really ties in the whole packaging oh my goodness the whole packaging together and I mean just look at this this looks like spring break doesn't it I'm a packaging girl, so personally, I love, love, love just, like, choosing my fragrance mist based on their packaging, too. Next up, we have another more fruity scent. This is Mango Mai Tai. They brought this out during, I believe, the summer semi-annual sale, and it was a really big hit. I actually only really liked this scent from their whole, like, drink line. I believe there was, like, strawberry soda and... Um, a couple other ones. I think Cherry Limeade too, but this is the one that I really, really liked. It has mango, nectar, sun-kissed guava, and sugarcane. The sugarcane really sweetens this up. This just smells like straight-up mangoes. I feel like I should be drinking, like, a mango Mai Tai when I'm wearing this. This is definitely pool vibes or resort vibes if you're going on a fun spring break vacation, whether it's on like a cruise or just like going to Hawaii, I feel like this is the perfect thing to wear. And it's also something that's super, super casual. So you can kind of wear this day to day without having to think about it. It's super, super juicy. Like that's kind of how I can describe it. it smells like when you cut up a mango that's super ripe and the juice is just like running down your arms and like your face. That's kind of what this reminds me of. It just smells like a yummy, yummy mango fruity drink, and I'm obsessed with this. I think this is really, really good for spring if it's, like, super hot where you live. I think this would just really refresh up your scent. Next up, we have another mist. This is Endless Weekend by Bath & Body Works. I believe this is, like, a super old scent. I feel like they've had this around for a while. This has summer mandarin, blue coconut water, and vanilla vanilla sandalwood. I love sandalwood notes as you guys know and I feel like the coconut water is a really good touch to this fragrance mist because it's not like an overbearing strong coconut scent that you smell in here. It is very light and it's just kind of like complementing the rest of the notes. It smells kind of like coconut water but that mandarin in there just sweetens it up and makes it smell super refreshing this is such like a chill kind of fragrance mist but you can also wear this to like a fancier occasion in my opinion i can see this out like wearing brunch with the girls you know you're wearing like a cute little crop top or a cute little slip dress this is something i really can see you guys wearing with your outfits 
very casual very day-to-day -day. again I feel like in summer like you don't really do many crazy things or in the springtime I mean you don't really do anything super crazy so I feel like and this weekend is just a perfect mist for you guys I mean the mandarin just kind of like I feel like makes it smell more like spring in my opinion I feel like citrus fruits kind of make things smell like spring and summer for my super sweet sugary lovers, I have Boardwalk Taffy. I feel like I didn't get much wear out of this last spring and summer, or I guess it was summertime because this came out in the summertime, but this has spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. This is perfect if you guys are going to like a boardwalk, you're going to the Santa Monica Pier, something like that. I feel like this is great. Also, if maybe you're going to the farmer's market, I think this would be really, really cute. This just smells so super super sweet sugary girly like and it's weird because I feel like this one doesn't make me feel super nauseous when I wear it sometimes when I wear pink sugar alone it can definitely make me feel a little like headachey if you know what I mean but this one it doesn't really do that to me I feel like you don't need a lot of this to spray on and smell on your body because it is very strong and potent however it just smells so nice and pretty like if you're wearing an all pink outfit you're wearing lavender pastels this is like great also I think for Easter I think that's what I'm gonna wear this for you know when I think of spring I think of Easter and I think of really pastel colors sweet you know foods and things so I think this is gonna be really really good and I'm super excited to wear this and wear this more and get more use out of it another oldie but goodie I feel like again I haven't worn this a ton but I really want to break it out for the springtime this is candied violet sorbet now don't be fooled because it does not smell like what the packaging looks like or what it even says it is this has sugared violet petals vanilla sorbet and blackberry swirl I cannot talk today this genuinely just smells like a more floral sort of fragrance it smells floral, a little powdery, and you can kind of smell the berries in there, which makes it smell a little bit fresher. Personally, I really, really like this scent. I don't know why I didn't wear it as much when I first bought it, but it smells very pretty, very feminine, very delicate. This is great, I think, because when I think of spring, I think of like flowers, you know, flowers are boo booming. <laughs> flowers are blooming so I feel like this is just a great floral everyday kind of scent this is another one I feel like that smells a little more expensive and luxe than what it really is um I know not many people like this fragrance because they were really expecting something sweet and sugary based off the packaging but I honestly really liked it and I think that it is a little bit of a tease because I mean look at this delicious looking packaging it looks amazing it does not smell like what the picture looks like which sucks but you know the actual smell itself is still really good and I'm excited to bring this out for the springtime second to last fragrance here you guys already know I'm sure you guys are super tired of me talking about this fragrance mist but this is fresh coconut and cotton I just feel like this is going to be my spring and summertime fragrance mist along with white t-shirt as well because when it gets super super hot like it does here it gets like 100 degrees 110 degrees you just want to smell really fresh like that is kind of the vibe I go for when it is super super hot and this has coconut coastal breeze and beachside cotton I love cotton notes anything like that's like laundry esque. I really really like dryer sheets laundry detergent soapy smells I love those kinds of scents so for me this is a given this is going to be probably another everyday fragrance my bedtime fragrance when I want to smell super clean to bed this is amazing I highly highly recommend you guys going out and picking this up while they still have some left because who knows when they'll ever bring this back I hope they bring this collection back every year because it's that good in my opinion but yeah, I mean, a lot of you guys have told me that you went out and bought it and you love it um, because I recommended it to you guys, which makes me so happy. So, yeah, definitely pick up fresh coconut and cotton and also white t-shirt. I didn't include that in here, but I would also wear that too. I just kind of wanted to give you guys picks of each one. So, yeah, this is my baby and this is literally my top three Bath and Body Works fragrance mist that I love. 
Last but not least here, I have a beautiful day. This is another oldie but a goodie. This is part of their retired fragrance mist like line. They only usually sell this um, either during semi-annual sale or online only. So you can't go into the stores and smell it. I, I don't think you can. I've never seen them at my stores. But this has sun-kissed apples, sparkling casses, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. The apple note, of course, just makes it smell super crisp and very like apple-y like I feel like apple notes definitely give you like a crisp fresh element and this genuinely smells like the perfect like like spring day where like the wind is blowing in your hair you're wearing a white shirt and some blue jeans and some flip-flops like that is the vibe I get from this fragrance mist it smells so so good definitely different than um, a fresh coconut in cotton it's a different kind of fresh scent this one is a lot more airy and lively and it doesn't have like that laundry sort of smell so if you don't like laundry scented things then definitely give this one a try I think a lot of people would really like this I don't hear a lot of people like raving about this all the time but this is seriously one of my go-to fragrance mists when it's hot outside I've used a lot of it um, considering how many fragrance mists I have in my collection but yeah this is one of the last fragrance mists I have here to share with you guys it's super good go pick her up so that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my springtime fragrance mist picks. I think I might honestly do a part two to this because I have so many fragrance mists that I'm excited to wear for the springtime because a lot of my fragrance mists are like fresher and cleaner smelling. So definitely let me know if you guys would like to see a part two. I'm super down to make one. I love doing these sorts of videos. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!